Alright, so we hit 2,500 subscribers, and I did ask for questions to answer for a Q&A, so we're just going to go through in order, and we are going to answer these questions in order. So, is Bob's basement cold? It depends on what the temperature on the thermostat is set to. And what's my favorite color? It is teal. What does the fox say? You can figure that out for yourself, because that song is terrible. 9 plus 10 is 19. What's the number? 14 is the number because that's the best number there is. Perfect Cell versus Bojack versus Brawly. Who would win? I'm going to go with Brawly because Brawly is overpowered and Bojack's actually not that much that powerful compared. Favorite Dragon Ball Z character? Vegeta, the Prince of All Saiyans. Super 17 versus Golden Frieza, who would win? Golden Frieza would obviously win, but considering they don't exist in the same timeline, that fight could never happen, because Dragon Ball Super takes place after Dra uh, Dragon Ball Z, thus saying that Dragon Ball GT never happened, because no one liked Dragon Ball GT. Uh, what if Krillin killed Freezer? Then the show would be entirely different, and Krillin would be slightly less useless than he already is. And, I mean, he'd get all the credit for being a superhuman and stuff. Champa versus Beerus. Beerus would win, because I don't remember who Champa is. Super, ver Super Boo versus Jane Mubba. Jamba. Jamba? I think it's Jamba. I can't remember how to say his name. I think Jamba would win, because Goku had to go Super Saiyan 3 versus both of them, but that happened after. And based on the timeline, it generally goes in order of power. Um, what is the most balanced tower besides boomers, boats, and cannons? I don't think boomers are really balanced. I think they're kind of underpowered. I would honestly, thinking about it, I'm going to have to think about this one. Let's see. What towers are there? The most balanced tower. I mean, wizards, they can hit everything, so they're not really, like, they can do everything, but they're not really balanced. They're kind of underpowered. I think... Ninja's overpowered. Boat's like the best tower with balance and everything. I'm now, huh? Most balanced. I'd say dart, dart, dart. I want to say dart. Darts are actually pretty balanced. Uh, actually no, I'm gonna go with the monkey ace. Monkey ace is the most balanced tower. If flash battles had sub, how much would the game change? Uh, the submarine's actually a very balanced tower, and I think it would go into the game pretty well. It would not need many changes at all, and uh, the game would probably get a lot better. What if Goku survived the fight versus Raditz? Well, he would probably be less powerful because you get more powerful the closer you are to death, and I'm assuming death means a super power up. I could be wrong on that, but yeah. Do, do you use Kahanam to cat? No, I don't know what that is. Uh, question, or questions, what is your favorite tower in Bloom's Tower Defense 5? Not Battles, I am BTD5, I honestly like ninjas for the tier 4, because you can spam them with double cash and not really pay attention to what you're doing. Uh, favorite gun in Borderlands 2? Um, I like the Pimperno. Uh, what's your favorite thing to do as a hobby? Um, I like reading. Reading's a good hobby. It's a good pastime. And, uh, yeah, I like reading. Uh, that's, I think that, that, that I think that's considered a hobby. What is your real name? My name is Todd. Or Frederick Johnson. Yeah, Frederick Johnson. I like Frederick Johnson. What about face cam? I've done face cams in the past, you just gotta find them. And during streams, it happens every once in a while. Also, who built the ocean? Good question. I built the ocean. Question. Why are you so bad at Ninja Kiwi games? You're bad at Ninja Kiwi games. So, what got you into Ninja Kiwi games? So, uh, I played, like, Bloom's 1 and all that stuff. But what really got me into it was, uh, once, uh, BTV5 co-op went into, like, Beta testing, or I'm not sure which of these happened first. When battles went into private, or 
beta testing or when BTD5 co-op went into beta testing. Whatever one of those happened first is when I really started playing them. Uh, I can't remember when that was, but it was over two years ago. Once I really got into them, but I have played before then. Uh, somewhat extensively, like the original Bloons one, not Tower Defense, like before Tower Defense. Um, are there any towers that you would nerf and buff? And if so, what would you... Okay, this is a long list. First of all, darts, completely balanced. Attack Shooter, the Maelstrom. It would get a nerf, it would get a pop count, and it would act like it has the sniper ability. The sniper, uh, not much I could really change about it. It's good, it's good for what it does. I'd probably make the Tier 3 on the left side slightly cheaper, and the Cripple Moab cheaper. Uh, but the sniper ability, it's not really meant to be used in battle, so it doesn't really bother me. Uh, so I don't really think I'd change that too much. Cannon, I'd make the tier 4, 3600 as opposed to 4000, uh, or 3200, it doesn't really affect me either way, but it's not a big deal if it's not changed. Uh, Ninja, this is a big one. Distraction, would not nerf it. Distraction's fine how it is, tier 4 is fine how it is, but the Sabotage would get nerfed to like 35 or 30% 30 speed and cost 4000, and the Sabotage glitch would be fixed, so it would make it other towers slightly viable, it would cost 4000 or 5000 at least. Like, compared to Call to Arms, it's like, com it completely outclasses it in every which way. Um, oh man, the, uh, Super Monkey, uh, maybe Technological Terror, like, a little bit cheaper. Sun Gods, a little bit cheaper, but not much. Um, Wizards, um, give them like a 1.5 times speed rate to their base speed, or two times, uh, to make them shoot faster in every ability, so it kind of is like an overall buff, glue splatter. I'd make that 20 pops as opposed to 6 just for battles or make it cheaper. You know, it's there's a bunch of really other minute stuff. Uh, I'd make the Monkey Ace Ground Zero 500 pops or 500 layers as opposed to 350. Um, Spike Factory, it's fine how it is. Village, I'd make the radar cheaper. For like, I don't know, 1000 or 900 or something for battles specifically. Um, and to mind you, uh, I think BTD5 and Battle should have a different balance. I think Ice is fine how it is now. I'd, Viral Frost getting used would be nice, but it's not that important. Um, I think that really covers the basis of it. I could probably make a video going more into detail about what to change, but that's good for now. Um, why did you come up with the Borderlands username that now you play BTD games more often? Uh, this account was made like three or four years ago and uh, I still prefer Borderlands to those games to be honest but they're slightly harder to record uh, and the picture in the background is a Borderlands picture actually um, and I mean like once you start the username if you know you're like you kinda can't change it how old are you? I am 16 uh, why is Mo such a bad word that I should not say that starts with a B and has five letters? Go ask Mo. He's a bad guy. A bad, bad dude. I like Mo. Mo's a good guy. How long have you been playing any kind of Bloon game? I played Bloon's Tower Defense 1. I mean, er, Bloon's 1. I, I don't know when. I mean, a long time. Question, are you... A porch sitting, melon munching, jail grinding monkey. I am a monkey, but it's actually a Saiyan, not a monkey. Yeah. Uh, when do you plan on getting out of holiday mode in King of the Hill, and why did you go into it? Cough is boring. It really is. Uh, it bores me. And when do I plan on getting out of holiday mode? Once cough is fun. And once there's a balance change, maybe? I don't know. Question, are you a pro at Borderlands? I play it. I kill raid bosses. I don't know if that considers to be a pro or not. You can judge from there. Raid bosses are fun to kill. <clears throat> okay. If someone offered you bacon, but you had to cut off both your nipples and eat them, would you do it? That's a pound of bacon. That's a pound of bacon. But it's my nipples. I don't know. Um, um, uh, the cutting off your nipples is a permanent thing, but bacon, man, that's bacon. Uh, you could flip a coin. Yeah, let's flip a coin there. 
What is your favorite mission in any Borderlands game ever? I like the mission in Lynchwood where you help Brick rob the bank. Uh, what's my worst fear? I'd have to think about that. I don't really have many fears, so to speak. Like, some things bother me. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, I can't really think of a fear, so I'll go back to that one. Uh, where do I see myself in five years? Um, five years from now, I will have graduated high school, probably be in college, be in nursing school, be a nurse, and, um, hopefully be in somewhere in a higher up place in YouTube to where I'll be able to, like, not have to go to college, and I'll be able to do this as a living and get, like, three or four videos out a day that are, like, roughly an hour in length, and we'll do, like, charity live streams and stuff, because that's all fun. In Borderlands, what's your favorite character besides Tiny Tina, Brick, and Torb? Because Tiny Tina is an easy answer. Brick is the prettiest siren. And Torb because explosions. Torg is the one in the background. And he is Jack. Uh, personally, I think I'd have to go with Maya. Uh, Maya is a really fun character. Uh, it's underrated. It's not the best at raid bossing, but it's a fun character. Um, favorite animal? I like meerkats. Favorite type of music is rap. Uh, favorite song, I don't really have a specific favorite song, because it kind of changes, like, based on, like, once you get sick of a song, but generally artists are, like, Jay's, not Jay-Z, uh, Young Jeezy, or T.I., um, I like those ones. Why is NK so lazy on Flash? Because mobile is the money maker, and they don't care about battles of Flash as much anymore, but it's getting updates now, again, after a dead period. What's the most underrated tower in battles? Not a tower that has, like, one use in the game, but it could actually be good, but people ignore it. Monkey Ace could be used in almost, in a lot of situations, but it's kind of ignored because it doesn't scale well in late game. But it can be good for a lot of things. Um, let's see. What is your favorite anime besides Dragon Ball? Dragon Ball is not my favorite anime, and my favorite anime is Fairy Tail. Fairy Tail is a great anime. And which leads into the next question, who is your favorite character in any anime ever? I like Urza Scarlet from Fairy Tail. But if we are going into other animes, I like One Piece, I like Nico Robin, uh, Dragon Ball, I like Vegeta, uh, and the original Dragon Ball, I like Master Roshi, and Z Vegeta, uh, what other animes are there? Naruto, I liked, I like Kakashi, Kakashi's pretty cool, um, let's see, how many balloons, red balloon equivalent, did you pop in your entire life, that question is not answerable, because it's a lot, and it changes on a basis, um, let's see, like, it's in the billions, probably, I don't know, question, what kind of potato are you? A red one? Because those ones are delicious, and I'm delicious in every way, shape, and form. Would you consider yourself to be a pro Borderlands? I answered this question already. If you could have as much cash as you want, if I, if, if I can have as much as I want, there's not going to be a limit. You could, you're limited to three things that you could buy. Ever. Well, you're giving me infinite cash, but I'm limited to where I can only buy three things. So I need to go with the basic necessities of food, water, and shelter. But if it's three physical things, can I, like, buy, like, a whole entire library, like a buy like a huge library. Oh, buy. I'll buy. No, 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 no. I'm gonna buy the Mall of America because that's gonna be multiple things in one. I will buy Alienware, so I can have that. And Mall of America goes with like food and clothing and everything. And one other thing, I would buy. I would buy Porsche, because those are, like, not super, super fancy, but they're fancy, like, really fancy, but not, like, I don't know, yeah. Other questions, let's see, scrolling down, uh, did I answer what got me into NK games? Uh, I think I did. Alright, so, what is the difference between a gorgeous milkshake and a regular milkshake is the last question. So, a gorgeous milkshake is beautiful and is uh, chocolate. It's a chocolate milkshake because chocolate is delicious. 
and a regular milkshake is vanilla, because vanilla is plain and not gorgeous, and also the chocolate one's got, like, a mustache and a big red nose. Yeah. That's, so that's the end of my Q&A for 2500. Um, hope you guys all enjoyed. And, uh, I, uh, yes, for the final question on the picture, I'm here to ask one question, one question only. Explosions. Yes. Have a good day. See you guys all later.